as part of the festival of making and uh, thinking about the role of making for manufacturing, uh, we gathered people who are experiencing this transition of um, making things into uh, products and uh, learning along the way. And um, we've asked each of the participants uh, to um, talk a bit about their idea and what happened when they decided to turn it into a business. Uh, we're going to look at those moments when designers, engineers, makers, artists uh, step into that process um, and what are the surprises uh, and uh, maybe assumptions that fall flat. And, um, so we're, we're going to start with um, Nicholas Roop, who is a serial entrepreneur, as they say and has had experience in various types of uh, businesses, um, primarily uh, very involved in the digital culture, digital design, but starting from an art uh, background, he's also um, ended up manufacturing hardware. Hardware in the sense of physical products and physical products that are now combining with digital in the future. And uh, so we wanted to see a bit of each of the projects. Uh, Barney Mason is an inventor and designer and is launched on his very first uh, product, uh, which has uh, recently completed uh, the first funding round through a crowdfunding um, platform, Kickstarter, and is for the first time entering the manufacturing conversation. And Fee Scott, who um, is also uh, very much a digital artist that has discovered um, the world of manufacturing and has made it her um, home, in a way, <laughs> and it, it has opened her home to a lot of new people. Um, so very different angles towards starting businesses.